Nissan ePower Air Conditioning Compressor Diagnostic Trouble Code B2788-19. Compressor over current, meaning that the circuit current is above the threshold. In other words, the compressor is consuming too much current. Now, the only way to find out, we're gonna have to open the air conditioning compressor of this 2022 Nissan Note ePower. Although I think all the e-power cars use the same compressor. The main differences between a regular compressor and a hybrid electric car compressor is that of course, this compressor is just a high voltage electric motor with a scroll type piston inside. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open the compressor controller. You only say a low voltage signal request to command the compressor via communication to run using high voltage. And the other connection that we have over here is a high voltage positive and negative, and then of course one interlock as well. But what is really happening with the e-power cars that the compressors are failing? I thought myself it was because this vehicles probably had an accident or refrigerant contamination. I'm not too sure. But the first thing I did is have a visual inspection right here in the outlet or the high pressure, and I'm seeing absolutely no contamination which is a good sign. But why is the compressor consuming too much current? Nothing to do. I'm gonna have to open. Here we go. Okay, let me take out the cover. Okay, right here. Now remember, there is no refrigerant in this uh, particular part of the compressor because this is just the board controller, okay? This vehicle receives high voltage directly from the battery pack, positive and negative, low voltage with a signal commander. And finally, also, two cables interlock system. I'm gonna have to separate the main board. I actually have some news for you. Did you know that this is a brushless DC motor and at the same time is an AC motor? What, Jose, what are you saying? Well, you receive DC from the high voltage battery and turn via this small inverter into look, one, two, three phase alternating current. So yes, how in the world you wanna create a variable speed compressor or a variable speed electric motor, which is exactly inside this compressor with DC, nah. You have to turn it into AC. So this is literally inside the compressor, but I'm seeing absolutely nothing. I don't see any type of contaminant here so far. So this is the component that I want to inspect right now, the main board. Let me just disconnect it. I'll show you what we have here. So I have right here the high voltage positive, oh, sorry, Wait. the high voltage negative. I also have this small controller line communication and then of course the interlock. That's it. I can take out now the board. Now here it is, the board doesn't come out that easy. You have to unsolder the semiconductors underneath, which I wanted to avoid this part, but once I turn around, we have the main high voltage contactor that allows the high voltage flow inside the compressor and finally passes through this huge semiconductor, which is the responsible to turn DC high voltage into three phase alternating current high voltage in order to drive this variable speed electric motor. But I already test the semiconductor and test the resistor and these resistors are fine. The main board is perfect. Once again, this is just a motor controller or an inverter. The next component we're gonna check is if by chance this compressor is having some sort of mechanical failure. Let's check it out. One of the things that made me very suspicious is I'm not seeing the system contaminated inside. Hmm. And the other thing that really surprised me is that this compressor is actually made by Panasonic Corporation. It's a Japanese. So why are these compressors failing so early? There'll be no time to lose. Let's open it up. Okay, so the first component I'm gonna take out is the main cover. And the main cover in the high pressure system doesn't look absolutely no contaminated to me, right? Which is a good sign. So what we're seeing over here is the flapper valve. So I'm gonna have to extract it very carefully. All right, there it is, she's coming out. Okay, here it is. So this is the scroll. All right, let me put this here. Now you have to remember that this type of compressor doesn't use regular pistol. They use scroll type compressor. In other words, the movement it's eccentric. This is how these compressors work. Look, eccentric movement. And you can hear the noise, look. <laughs> so who does that? Let me show you. <laughs> there it is, a scroll type compressor, okay? You can pretend that this is a two piston AC compressor, all right? So in an eccentric way, it concentrates all the pressure inside in the middle and pushes out by this valve. So this is the high pressure line. And look, absolutely no contaminant, right? But the main piston, I'm not seeing any type of damage. Look, no scratches, absolutely nothing. It looks great. <sighs> What's going on here? I have right here the main motor. Now the main motor, 
has a bearing that usually is supposed to be a little loose. And let me see. Let me see if I can take it out. Oh, yeah, it came out very easily. Okay, let's see. Hmm, feels smooth and great. So this bearing, it's fine so far. I also have, look how the motor moves. Okay, hmm, I feel a little hard. Look. All right, I'm gonna have to open up and take out the complete motor itself. There it is. Okay, we pull it out already. So this is the main motor, the main rotor, I'm sorry. And this is the stator. I'm not seeing absolutely no burns in the stator, nothing. Let me see the, let me see the, uh, the bearing. Absolutely no noise and very smooth. What is going on here? And we finally have the main rotor, okay? Ah, here is the problem. Look, okay, I got it. Hear the problem, look. Yes. So apparently the problem is this central bearing, which apparently is the one that takes the biggest load. Now, because it is the motor itself and the counterweight right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is our work. Yep. So this is what moves the scroll in an eccentric. Let me show you how it, how it works. This is an eccentric movement, how the compressor works. But what is really happening here is that the central bearing is gone yep and giving me some resistance not quite hard but the problem is that this board also measures the amount of current that comes in which is very sensitive so the bearing is uh z slash 6204 it's a japan made is this a common issue do you have an easy power with diagnostic trouble code ac compressor over current most for sure the central bearing is giving you trouble. So it's just a matter to take it to the machine, extractor, replace the bearing, and that should be it. So diagnosing air conditioning compressor is not a big deal. It's just a simple alternating current electric motor that receives DC from the high voltage system. That is the only difference compared to a regular compressor. Now, something that you need to be aware, if you're an AC technician, the electric vehicles and the hybrid cars use high voltage AC compressors that use Poyolester or POE special lubricant that it's non-conductive. You know why? Because right here inside the electric motor itself, this is the suction part of the air conditioning circuit, which means that if you have, for example, the pack oil, which is conductive, you will create an insulation fault. That's why you gotta be very careful. Do not mix pack oil with POE, okay? AC compressor of the hybrid electric vehicles, use POE. So there you go. A simple masterclass diagnosing AC compressors in hybrid and electric cars. They're all very, very similar. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Bye-bye.